Hello all, this video is on how to display data variable onto DWIN HMI touch displays. In this model we have a 5 inch display, 80480 means 800 by 480 resolution, C is commercial grade, 050 means 5 inch display, 0 is basic version, 3 is for hardware version, WTC is touch version which is capacitive, touch capacitive. On the board to the right hand side you can see a space for adding Wi-Fi chip that is for future videos that is to access uh, Wi-Fi cloud and to the top is uh, right is the SD card slot you can insert SD card up to 16 uh, GB to the left is the FCC cable where you can connect RS232 to USB, kind of USB converter and to the left of it uh, there are six pins here you have to solder the pins to connect it with the microcontroller like Arduino. So you can use a bulk stick like this. Uh, six pins you can solder. So from here you can have, uh, you can give the connections for 5 volt ground and we'll be using RX2 and TX2. TX4, RX4 is not used and to the top of it there is an IC, RS232 IC and you can see two dots uh, left open so this two dots to be two points to be soldered so the TTL is enabled otherwise you will get only RS232 and you have to use the official USB converter so if you solder that point you can connect directly to Arduino so open the DGS software that is the latest software no installation is required download the latest software and open it and click on new first set the resolution our resolution of the model is 5 inches 800 by 480 and set the path of the project. Create a new folder for the project and uh, set the path of it and click on OK. Now inside the project folder automatically some files are created. Divin underscore set folder and then dot HMI and other files. In this project we have only one image. This image can be created using Photoshop or GIMP or even Windows PowerPoint. And then first you have to resize the image. I am using Airphone View software. Open the image using Airphone View. Click on image resize and set the resolution to 800 by 480 which is the resolution of our display. And then save the file inside the dvin underscore set folder of your project. Now you have to rename the file image file. Rename it as 0. BMP as we have only one image rename it as 0 dot BMP this is very important the numbering should be 0 1 2 like that no other names allowed and uh, inside the welcome screen there is an inbuilt uh, picture conversion tool you can use this tool also to resize the image uh, picture conversion tool you can add the image and then resize it to 800 to by 480 instead of using it for view you can use the inbuilt uh, picture conversion Next, you have to create the Word uh, Word file. Uh, click on the Word Bank Generator. That is the inbuilt uh, software, inbuilt inside the software. And then adjust the size, vertical and horizontal size to display the letters correctly. And then click on Generate. Now, yeah, Word file is created. 0 underscore dv underscore ac dot hzk, hzk. This file is created inside the uh, uh, Dwin uh, DGS software folder from where you started the software. Copy that dot uh, hzk file and then paste it inside the Dwin underscore set folder. Now go back to the touch and display config tab and then click on the plus symbol to import the uh, image. We have only one image that is a 0 dot BMP of 800 by 480 resolution. Click on that image to download it inside the project. Now click on setting and then DGS and then click on the ICL tool. We have to create the ICL file of the images otherwise the software will not understand the images. And then click on select pictures, select the only one image we have 0.bmp and then click on generate ICL. Now name this file as uh, 32.ICL, no other naming is allowed, this is very important. Uh, so name it as 32.icl and save it inside the dwin underscore set folder. So all the images uh, you have to convert to ICL. We have only one image in this project. 
and inside the image we have two locations for displaying data variable so use text to show and then one two three data variable click on that and uh, uh, draw a, uh, a box on the centimeter location and again click on the one two three data variable and draw a, a box on the inch location here we are going to display the data variable to the right hand side is the settings for the data variables if you want you can change give a name for the data variable most important is the vp address give the vp address as 5100 for the first data variable if you want you can change the color also so vp address range from 0x5002 0x fff and word bank is 0 font size let us make it to 40 and alignment is center variable type is integer 2 bytes and uh, integer digits is uh, number of integer digits 3 show unit let us leave it as blank as already we have a cm and in display and initial value is 0 same way click on the second data variable to display the inch and uh, if you want to uh, give a name for it and uh, vp address provide a different VP address let us make it as 5200 this is very important VP address against this VP address only we are going to uh, display the variable data variable select the font size as 40 alignment as center variable type is integer 2 bytes and uh, number of integer digits 3 show unit is blank and the initial value is 0 and click on uh, file save now click on file generate so the config file is also generated if you go to the project folder you can see under the dvin underscore set uh, the files are created the 32.icl is created by us and other files are automatically created against the configuration if you want you can preview the project by clicking on the preview uh, from the current page next let us prepare the sd card uh, for downloading the dvin underscore set folder onto the display maximum up to 16 gb only supported and you need a card reader like this plug in the sd card and uh, plug in onto your pc and right click the folder and click on format and you have to select the file system as fat32 this is very um, important don't select ntf fs this is not supported file system fat32 and allocation unit size select it as 4 kilobytes that is 4096 bytes and click on format now the format is completed now the sd card is uh, ready now go to the project folder and select the dwin underscore set folder so this is the folder where we have uh, created all the files 32.icl file and other configuration files drag and drop this dwin underscore set folder onto the sd card now the dwin underscore set folder has got the image 32.icl and other configuration files remove the sd card and plug it onto the display dwin display after plugging the sd card provide the power supply 5 volt and ground we are using an external power supply like this and a power adapter 12 volt adapter so the power required for the dwin supply is only 5 volt and never power it up from the arduino use an external power supply like this provide the 5 volt and then ground now the dwin underscore set folder is being downloaded onto the dwin display it will take some time uh, wait for the process to complete once the process is complete you will get the indication that is the sd card process ok now switch off the power and then remove the sd card never remove the sd card with power on it will damage the display remove the sd card and then provide the power supply back 5 volt on ground now you can see the image that is uh, created and the project has been downloaded on, onto the dwin display next we will configure the arduino and the ultrasonic sensor as we are going to display the ultrasonic sensor distance onto the data variable locations we will be using this tx2 and rx2 and most important is the ttl uh, points to be shorted on the back side of the display now uh, first let us check the ultrasonic uh, 
connections with the Arduino. Echo pin to 2 and trigger pin to 3, 5 volt to 5 volt and ground to ground. And this is the Arduino code for the basic Arduino code for ultrasonic sensor. Here we have some uh, variable declarations, long and uh, integer declarations and the data pins are declared echo pin 2 and the trigger pin as 3 and inside the wide setup and we start the serial uh, dot begin at 11 5, 200 and inside the wide loop we set the trigger pin on to a high state for 10 microsecond so that uh, the ultrasonic uh, bust is created and uh, using the pulse in function we read the travel time so the pulse in function will calculate the distance of the object and we use the calculation that is a uh, distance in centimeter and distance in inch and finally we display it on the serial monitor click open the serial monitor upload the code and then open the serial monitor select the uh, board rate as 11 5, 200 now the ultrasonic sensor is working with the Arduino and you get the distance in centimeter as well as inch so according to the object in front of the ultrasonic sensor the distance is printed in centimeter and inch now let us modify the code to send the data onto the dwin display we are going to use the software serial so that the data pin other than 0 and 1 0 and 1 is the uh, hardware serial we are going to use software serial the rx pin is uh, declared as 7 and tx pin as 8 and then we create a software serial object name it as dwin serial and use the new rx pin and tx pin that is a pins uh, data pin 7 and 8 and then we use for data transfer in uh, data transfer to be done in hex code so for that we create a, an array variable of type char and uh, inside this array variable we have the hex code in the, that uh, the dwin will accept only hex format so phi a a phi is the header header and the next is the 0 phi that is the number of bytes to follow and 0x82 is the write command we are going to write it onto dwin display and then the two bytes phi uh, 5100 that is for the vp address of the first data variable where we are going to display the centimeter and then the uh, two bytes of data uh, now we are declaring it as 00 in the due course of the code we will change it same way create an array for the uh, displaying inch also here we are going to change the vp address only that is the phi 2 0 x phi 2 is the vp address for the data display of inch and inside the void setup uh, create a dwin serial dot begin at 11 phi 200 as a dwin display default board rate is 11 phi 200 we start the serial at 11 phi 200 inside the void loop we do the calculation for the object and then we replace the array variable index position 6 and index position 7 with the actual data so uh, as you know the array variable is uh, zero indexed we replace the 7th and the 8th byte of the data with actual data so high byte is replaced at index 6 and the low byte is replaced at index 7 and finally we use the serial.write function to write the binary data to the serial port data sent as series of bytes that is it has got two parameters serial.write has got two parameters well, first is the array to send as series of bytes and the second one is the number of bytes to be sent from the array so for this uh, for the first uh, display that is to display the centimeter we use the uh, serial dot write and then the data underscore centimeter and then number of bytes is 8 so the actual data is replaced on to the location of the dwin display same way we have to do it for the inch display so replace the index 6 and the index 7 of the array variable of uh, inch and finally upload the code now you have to do the connection uh, as we are not using the hardware serial we use this software serial there is a pin 7 of Arduino to TX2 of display and pin 8 to RX2 
before that you should have done the shorting of the detail points on the dvin display provide the connection and finally it is very important to make the ground common as we are using external supply the ground of uh, dvin display and ground of arduino both should be made common otherwise the uh, data will not pass through so make this uh, ground common <coughs> now the code has been already uploaded so you can see the uh, distance displayed as centimeter as well as the inch according to the ob object movement first the uh, uh, centimeter display is uh, shown and uh, the uh, relative inch also is displayed so this is the way how to display uh, data variables onto dvin display in coming videos we will see how to display float variables thank you for watching